Right guys, welcome back to Civ 5, and uh, we're progressing on with uh, the conquering of the world. Um, so last time we were discussing about what we may do, um, and I was sort of saying I wanted to continue building up, I wanted to strengthen my cities before we moved out and get good army, etc, etc. Uh, Rome has been kind of like, you know, <clears throat> belittled and pushed back, it's not really of any concern to me now, although it's a fairly sort of reasonable size uh, empire there it's it's not a great concern to us it's got a bit of distance to travel it's not next door the rest of the world we were talking about sort of oceanic attacks and how that's going to be very easy um, you've got ondonga ondonga over here and um, again you know that's another oceanic battle that we can have there pretty easy to take down um, the only couple that were concerning me were washington because it's inland except that you know, the US and Washington haven't been militarily especially strong um, so for that reason I've not been greatly concerned by it. Um, Moscow and Russia are the things that have been concerning me and it's good to see that they are still having kind of old-school armies going on. Basically I came to the conclusion that um, my previous plan of building up and getting ready was perhaps not such a great plan because that means I'm, I have to wait and waiting is not a good thing to do because the Russia I'm pretty sure is reasonably ahead of me in a couple of things and but their main city is not <coughs> especially strong so we'll continue on and we'll build Deve stuff up a little bit <coughs> what do you want? gold and iron open borders on them for my incense how much incense do we have? four yeah okay we'll do that what about three gold per turn? we do three That offer is not Nós recusamos. Enough. Okay, what about two then? Right. We got we got plenty, so it's you know, kicking the teeth. Is the following trade of interest to you? No, your your America, your offers are always laughably crap. Like just get out, seriously, ridiculous. Um, <clears throat> when is Russia not concerning? Yeah, but it's she's very kind of like whatever. I tried to make her my friend. <clears throat> I thought I'd play that that route. You know, I thought I'll try and be friendly to her. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll get around it that way. But apparently she was having none of it. Uh, let's go down here and see what's up with this. <coughs> she was having none of that. So I decided that, you know, we need to basically deal with it as quick as possible and take her down. Uh, Bulawayo, what do you need to be building? Stable, maybe, apparently. But I would rather have... I want to build up happiness as much as possible. So I think we'll have a Colosseum there. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Shadow says, what the hell, took me to a past broadcast when I first clicked on the link from YouTube. Um, yeah, that was just a restart, I guess so. So we have to build up an army. Uh, we're assigning delegates, apparently. The first council of Rome. We're in the middle here, we have two delegates to assign. Um, ban luxury gold. No, that's not really a good thing, is it? Nay. Enact arts funding also don't want this. Right, <clears throat> so anyway, we've got good landing here, nice space to land, um, and we can probably go check that out. Hmm, doesn't seem to be like Russian border. Um, so we need to go and check out what's what with this. What's that? That's right, it's just more horses. <coughs> enact arts funding passes, enact ban luxury gold fails, that's no surprise. Um, cargo ship has returned. We're still trying to spread and um, push our religion, which is going actually pretty good. That was our previous route, Maidan though. Eight gold. Anterium Rome 22, yes. Right, so yes, we need to. Uh, we obviously have to. Zav Bay is probably producing a seaport there, but when we have the opportunity, we should try and produce military stuff. But some of these uh, cities, unfortunately, are kind of weak and new, um, so we need to 
keep working on uh, the basics for them, basically. Let me show you Tyler's question. Do you still play Armour 3 and specifically Zeus? Yes, of course, every week. Uh, hello. What is this we see here? Russian rifleman. That's not... Hello. And what's that? A trade ship. War with Russia will be... Pain, but I think it'll be necessary. I think it's time to move some cannon over here as well. We need to start moving up some of our stuff as much as possible. Uh, this guy can't move. Let's send this ship around here to have a look. I want to get eyes on what's going on over here. As Tart says, I finally bought City Skylands and I love it. Already spent 26 hours in four days. Yeah, exactly. It's just really, really good. Uh, next turn. Oh yeah, so let's just see what's what here. Ah, Vatican City. They, they've got furs, that's nice. Oh, and they gave me gold. Right, you can just be on alert, buddy. Hmm. See, this is much better. This is much better than the US's crappy deals. Cotton, look, we got plenty of that. Six gold per turn. What? What? No, no, no. That, that was your original deal. Oh, oh, fuck you then. I hate that. That's a really insane thing. I wanted to check how much cotton resource I had. This comes back to what I was talking to you about before, Flame. Augustus Caesar's building up for a sneak attack. Augustus Caesar is secretly plotting against Gajamada. Well, that's fine. Yeah, he's going to try and attack these guys over here. He's trying to crush the last city, I guess. That's fine. Let him do that. Steel technology. Industrialization. Yes, please. Industrialization. I probably shouldn't have done that, actually. I probably should have taken the other one, but whatever. <laughs> Fuse. Eleven months in a row. Thank you, Fuse. Fuse, that's nearly a year. A year's worth of support, Fuse. I super, super appreciate it. Thank you very much, Fuse. We are, in fact, guys, we are at 64 subscribers right now. Only 36 to go to 100 subs and more emotes, which is super exciting times. So, thank you very much for all everybody's support, guys. Things are going very well for us. Right, technology tree, what's next? Rifling is what we need. Because they have rifling and we do not. We absolutely need rifling. In fact, I kind of really need to... I need to get rifling before we attack. In fact... Where the hell is the artillery? We get Gatling guns here, but what we really need is, uh, yeah, this. We need artillery. Hmm, that's a lot of turns. We'll have to see how we go. Um, <coughs> I really kind of want to get artillery before we make a move, but um, that's a lot of turns to wait. We'll just keep our uh, our eyes peeled, I think. An interesting, although Russia, <coughs> Russia doesn't seem to have that many cities, so they seem to have like a couple of big cities, but they don't have a lot of sort of fire oh, Now you come to me with your deal. Yes, I'll take your deal this time. Y N W, how you doing? Bit of fighting happening over here. Bit of fighting that we don't care about. It's going to start getting to the point where I need to do, like, automated moves and stuff without the animation soon to speed things up. May purchase with faith. That's good news. Iron Beak. Uh, zoo in ten for two happiness. We need to get as much happiness as possible because uh, 
We really, really need to have it for when we take cities and stuff. 60 defense though, that's very, very high, and it makes me... It, that's another reason why I kind of feel like I need the artillery, because, you know, we really... We need the artillery to, to crush it, because otherwise we're going to have problems. I will keep exploring with my caravel. With my caravel. Let's go across here. Can purchase with faith. I'm not quite sure what I would purchase with faith right now. Tyre wants Islam. Where is Tyre? It's there. That's quite some foot way away, but if I was to purchase some emissaries and send them there, that could work. Um, <coughs> how would I get there? Yeah, around this way, right? But can those guys go across the deep blue sea? If they can't, we're going to have problems. Can emissaries go across deep water, guys? I can't remember. Well, you know, I probably would use them anyway. Oh, 666 on the faith. That's not that's not a good sign. Um, let's try and purchase from Iron Beak City with faith. I can build mosques, but what we really need is a missionary. Yeah, I don't know whether these guys can cross the deep blue sea, but we'll see. Ugh, slaughter going on out of sight. Bollocks to you, Catherine. Right, the hell with it. We need to cane the research, we just... Silius, <laughs> five months in a row. Thank you, Silius. Love you, man. Love you too. Thanks for supporting me, buddy. Rocking and rolling. Right, we're going to send those emissaries out to Tyre to uh, see if we can't capture them. My cannon, uh, we're going to build up maybe our resources. We can put them over here, but they can just sit there for now. That's fine. They're just waiting to go to sh to she off to she. We need to keep a set of rifles here. Everything else, we can't really move out too much more than this right at this time. We could take our cannon off the front line there when we need to, but again, it's kind of important to keep some strength here because you never know when these idiots are going to attack or whatever. Um, we're keeping one unit in every city so that we have you know happiness from that basically. So we're just going to have to almost, uh, yeah, just keep burning the time, basically. Clean, any ideas for this week's uh, missions for armor? Yeah, I do have ideas. Tire longs for culture. Your city has converted. Bulawayo has converted. Oh, bloody hell. It's because we're next to this lot. Yeah. Well, that's fine. Flames Fury. I'm going to probably use Flames Fury for building some military stuff, so I'm going to build an armory there. Veiled City, I'm going to turn over to Research. We need to really spam the research. I need to get Research ahead. Because we must get artillery as quickly as possible. Right, we're just sending these guys off to Tyre. Small battles happening right here. Genoa also wants Islam. Where, where are they? Are they closer? Uh. Oh, they're kind of on the other side. Well, we'll keep them in mind anyway. Production for Rider Rapid. Also, I'm going to put into uh, research. We just need to keep going with the research. The quicker we can get stuff researched now, the better. A little look down here. Just try and reveal as much of the map as possible at this time. <clears throat> Just keep my eye on what's going on with everything. 
The city became religious. I'm gonna be loving you. I'm gonna be loving you. That's good. My right, Islam continues to push forward. Although Veiled City has not taken a, a kinship, so we need to kind of keep things happening here. Как тебе понравится, если я предложу такой обмен? The only way for people to know each other better is to tear down the boundaries between them. What do you say we open our borders? This could be tactically advantageous. Also, would piss people off a lot. Do we? Yeah, this would this would be good. Because although I have to open borders to her, I don't think she's anticipating that I am going to attack her. I'm going to allow this. Прекрасно. And we will see what happens, because now I can go explore. So this means that I will be able to send military units into her region without her uh, without going to war. Your troops kicked kicked out when you start war. Well, of, obviously, but right now uh, she doesn't know that I'm going to start war. I'm going to be loving you. Uh, do you actually need to build other stuff? I'm going to be loving you. No, you don't. Well, in that case, you also can be on research. We're doing pretty quick with the research now. Right, come on, emissaries. Right, so she's undoubtedly going to send some people to kind of explore me, but uh, it's more beneficial for us. Because I can go and get in there. Yeah, the US is very quiet and sleepy. There's not much happening here at all, which is good news for me. So we're just biding our time, really, and we're just caning that research. We're, we're very, very, very quickly rushing through the research now, which is good news. As well just send a ship around here, to be fair. Right, here we go. Uh, hello. Quite a lot of uh, military going on there. Uh, Iron Beak. If I'm going to put an armory into Iron Beak, we may need some uh, military resources coming out of the ports. <laughs> Flay. It is well that war is so terrible. We've researched rifling. Good news. So now we can choose research. I'm going to choose fertilizer so we can get to artillery. Only 11 turns for that. So we're going to we're going to rush through that. Arsenal uh, increases the strength for the city. Defense and hit points. Military academy. 15 XP all units. Let's go for that. Because we need to turn out as high XP units as possible. Nulzius. Uh, Nulzius is also going to... Well, we could actually go for the zoo option. 29 turns, though. I think I'd rather have some more research and just keep pushing. Yeah, research, research, research. It's all about research at the moment. Right. We're just going to casually send our cannon this way. She might get a little suspicious, but that's okay. Uh, we can purchase with faith already. We are reaping the faith. Uh, let's see if we, we're gonna, we need to start building some military units. So let's uh, actually let's. We should be able to have, probably be in the best place. Where's gonna be the best place to actually build military units right now? We've got armory. We've got arsenal. We have a military academy. Not yet. So it's probably as good a place to I need to buy some. Oh, hold up. Hmm. That's weird. Apparently I can't buy... Uh, I can also obviously buy units and stuff to, to go to war with as well. <coughs> we 
I'm kind of saving that. Um, I, Genoa wanted faith from me, so I could actually buy an emissary again uh, over here and just keep pushing the religious side of things. I actually need it a bit. We'll send them out. Right, production for Flames Fury, uh, military in 17. Yeah, let's do that. Right, let's just explore. Surprised that didn't increase my range of sight, to be honest. Probably should just send a scout over or something. Forty-seven there. Oh, it's good having a nice little look around. They're actually not they're not really infringing on me too much at the moment, which is good news. She's never gonna see it coming. Right, we're gonna send this lot over here to Genoa. My cannon unit is casually exploring. We found St. Petersburg. See, they do have a few cities. But we're going to go for Moscow. Bollocks. Catherine has entered the modern era. See what I mean? She's ahead of me and this is really bad news. I need to hit as fast as possible. But I, I can't really afford to go for a, an attack until... I can't really afford to go to attack until I've got that artillery. Because it's just going to be... Hello. There's all sorts of things going on over here. Hiawatha wants four iron for lots of cotton and open borders. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We'll do that one. She wants five iron for spices. Have I got enough spices? Yeah, I just have enough. Okay, so we're doing a deal with her. Ideology. Russia has adopted the order ideology. Production for Iron Beak. Uh, what's Iron Beak got going on with it? Factory walls. Well, everyone's building military academies right now, so we should probably just push on that side of things. No bumba, uh, more science, always really good. <coughs> Hmm. Yep. We just uh, redo that deal. Now we're doing a lot of trading with Russia and uh, <coughs> it's ultimately going to be not the best thing in the world for us to start a war, but war is coming whether we like it or not. And we need to know what's happening. Right, where's this lot going? Well, there's no reason for this ship to be all the way out here now. May as well bring it home. <coughs> ah, my missionaries have finally arrived at Tyre. We'll send them in there. Now well, let's keep exploring over here. It's important that I get a kind of strategic idea about where I can attack from. Moscow luckily has a nice distance here, so we can come in kind of on the shores up here. Very nice and flat, flat open fighting ground. Should be pretty easy, we just need a fast overriding attack. Ah, and my other missionary has also arrived in Genoa, which is great. Might take a few turns to convert them, I think. Still a little bit of fighting happening here between Alundi and uh, the Iroquois. 
Is the no, America, with your pitiful offers. Every time, America. They should just say I don't want to deal with the US anymore. Yes, keep spreading. Spread it good. I like how the uh, Islam there chanting like uh, monastic themes. Right, uh, Zav's cargo ship. Uh, go to Rome. It's a good deal. Off you go. Aparantoyan aliliron kito lawan ulun. Yeah, you always make me good deals. Have I got two gold? Yeah, I do. Okay. Beautiful. Let's bring you some more in here. Is wow. the following trade of interest? America, seven gold per spices, and we got two spices available. Yes. Do it. That is the biggest monetary offer I've ever had from the US. They must really want some spice in their coffee. The world's most wonderful people. Man, Ru America, uh, Ru uh, Rome. <laughs> America, Russia, blah, 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 Rome. Rome are really high up there. We are bad. Ranks players by the number of wonders. Yeah. Well, we've got three wonders. That's better than nothing. A great engineer has been born in the city of Lutania. Beautiful times. Right. A, uh, now what does he do? High production and order production of the city's current effort. Yes. So we could, uh, Hurry production for Flames Fury, to be honest. That would be worthwhile. Uh, let's just explore this way a little, if we may. So, and that's the extent of it. So, Russia really doesn't have that many cities bringing stuff in. <sighs> More gold and iron for incense, of which we have loads. Yep, that's. Oh, you stupid prick. Okay, come back next time. Make your dreams come true. My Gallias. I should be able to upgrade my Gallias now, actually, if I bring it back into port. Shit. And this is why I need artillery. <laughs> See, that's why I need this stuff. Uh, worker. What are you doing, worker? Oh, yes. Route to mode. Order the unit to build roads or railroads to the selected type. Why did I? Why have I got a worker up here? Are they just doing nothing? Automate. And I'm going to hurry production. There we go. So Flame can have his military academy. Right. Yes. Wait, hold on. You came to me with the deal, and now you're saying it's not good enough. Uh -huh. You stupid thing. Ridiculous. Right, we've got fertilizer. We're chasing the dream. We're chasing the. Oh, hello. No. Rostov, we have discovered. They have two. Ar no, they've got a Gatling gun and artillery. Okay, she's got. Her defense has gone up significantly as well. We really, really, really need to get down on this. ASAP. Let's start with uh, some riflemen. Make the dreams come true. Dynamite is what we need. Dynamite. And then we're on artillery, and then we're rocking and rolling. And probably this battle is going to be this whole stream this time. Right, we can upgrade it to a frigate. Off he goes. Frigate. I'll send you out. You can also return. We need that gold. Yes. Fear is our only god. We shall make them pay. It will suffer righteous fury. Right. Zav Bay has also completed. How many turns until... 13 turns until we have artillery. And I can build a rifleman in that time. Good news. Nabamba. Marabarabarabamba. <coughs> what do we need? Mint. Do we have gold and stuff nearby? For each worked source of gold and silver. Got mine. Oh, there is gold. Okay, it does make sense then. Mm -hmm. 
If they send ships out of anywhere, it's not going to be on this coast, so I should probably send the majority of the naval fleet up here. And we'll put one here to just keep an eye on uh, Rome in case they try to attack us somehow. <coughs> Cargo ship from Ironbeak, go back to Rome. Hmm. I need to bring this cannon back. The cannon has to come back because basically once the um, uh, once we get the artillery upgrade, I can upgrade them immediately and I will have artillery already. In fact, actually, it would make a lot of sense for me to, uh, once Iron Beak completes the military academy, to make uh, another cannon so that I can upgrade the cannon straight away. Then we'll have three artillery units because another one right here. Um, I'm going to send this off to the north as well. My happiness has gone down greatly, actually, which is kind of surprising. I can upgrade a lot of my military stuff already. See, crossbows upgrade to Gatling. A lot of this stuff back here I don't have to upgrade immediately. Just keep these cheap units in place. Um... I don't think I need to keep anything there now. Bring these guys back down here just so that I can have one in the city. What are you up to? I told you to come back. Are you being stupid? I bet you're being stupid. Right, you can stay on alert. Can you play as Spain in Civ 5? I believe you can. Because she, uh... Spain, she's always a pain to me. She always makes like real bad deals and stupid choices and things. It's really annoying. Like she'll ask me to join. Like okay, so Spain, for example, she asked me to um, to join her in a war, and then she didn't send any units into the war and just left me to deal with it, which was and yet she was outraged if I didn't go to war, which was not not very pleasing. I was not happy about this. Right, Iron Beak, we need a cannon. And we can, uh, all my units can be like charged with fighting on the flat. Right, muskets, you can just remain there. Really need to boost the happiness, I'm kind of surprised that it's gotten so low. <coughs> Dynamite is coming up quick though, which is good. Yes, Rome, whatever. Session upcoming, that's fine. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Let's get another Colosseum in there, try and boost our happiness a little bit. Bilaweo, uh, can you build anything to boost our happiness? Zoo in 23. Couldn't hurt. Nulzius, we need to really uh, 30 turns, that's a lot. Veiled City, can't really do very much, may as well stay as it is. I'm gonna be loving you. If anything to give us that extra happiness. Now we can still purchase with religion, but what? Nothing to purchase from here. Make the dreams come true. I only seem to be able to purchase uh, missionaries. I can get a great journal look, general at 1500. Apparently my uh, missionaries didn't convert, which is a shame. They sort of did their best. We'll just keep an eye on that. <coughs> okay, next turn. We need that artillery. What's this? Cannon. Where are you, cannon? This cannon needs to come back. We're just waiting. Friendly trait. Oh. Okay, that's fine. Rome is plundering uh, trade routes from uh, these guys over here. Right, 
So we've got our cannon back on shore. So we're just building this up. America has denounced Rome, losing grass from Bogota. So a fair few little city states doing stuff, but whatever. I'm just trying to rush. Hello. See, they've got multiple. I don't remember there being a city there before. Is that new? They've just put a new city, I think. I don't remember that city being there before. I'm definitely going to have to attack from this shore here. I don't want to be near this city, and I can't be near that city. So we're going to have to come around. Or at least we can get up on this hilltop here. I think we one, two, three. Maybe should just have a range on stuff. This is a good place for at least one artillery unit. And then the others can maybe be like here and maybe one over there. Send the other units in between. Uh, let's see. Zoo in ten. Yes, please. Damn, we're still losing happiness. That's bad. Ban luxury marble, uh, ban luxury copper, abstain completely from that. Son of a bitch. Copper luxury ban went into place, so that means that I now... I'm now in three unhappiness because they banned copper. Bastards. This is bad news for me. I need to get that happiness back. Maybe I should see if somebody's got like a luxury that I don't have. Maybe Rome. They got whales. They got whales. We don't have whales. 34 gold per turn. He's having an absolute fucking laugh, isn't he? Uh, let's try our friends. Sorry, an absolute piss take. Bug you. He's got nutmeg. So Aparantoyan Aliliron Itolawan Ulun. That's a lot for nutmeg. But we do have we do have double of salt. Plenty of incense. The horses and coal concern me a little bit. I'm not quite sure how much coal I have. Don't have that much coal. We'll keep that in mind, I think. Let's see what the US has. <coughs> Good day. What brings you here today? Good day. It's got Proceed. marble. It's got dye. It's got sugar. Is the want, following they, they trade want of interest so much. They want so much, always. Like, for me, it's like they give me like a bit of gold and like, and that's it. But for them, they want like two things, 40 gold for 20, 100 turns. And you're just like, Jesus, that is an insane, insane amount that you want. Anyway, my plan is not going so good because we had like about eight or nine happiness before. As soon as men decide. Oh. Thank God. Okay. Open terrain. We want uh, strength against cities. And then we're going to move you here. Unit promoted rifle, uh, flying in the open. They only have one of those items. No, but even the items with with Rome, where they had several whales, they were still asking a lot for you. Um, right, these guys take extra strength from ranged attacks. Right. Right, here we go. This is 
is where it's going to get interesting. And we can take everything out of our research right now. Oh look, Circus Maximus in 24 turns. That's what we need to build, that's what we need to build. 16 turns, how many turns is it for you? That's what we need, we need that Circus Maximus. Um, right, let's think, what else, what else, what else, what else can we build right now? Factories. We don't want to build too many military units because we've got quite a lot already and, um... We seem to want workers, although I can't think for why. Uh, right, Zav Bay, I'm going to have you construct... Maybe some riflemen. I think if we take riflemen and uh, tanks, we should be okay. What do these guys upgrade to? No. We just, it's, <coughs> this game might be in the circus because it's intense. That's a terrible joke. Um, right, so we really need to, as I say, uh, we need to get happiness up. I always get to a point like this where I'm stuck <coughs> and I'm just like, okay, so how do we get happiness up? It's like we can build the circuses and stuff, but beyond that, like, how are we going to deal? How are we going to trade? Look, he's got hey, two damn. whales. This might be the best I can do. He wants 34 gold per turn though. 34. I mean that is so much. <coughs> it's just so much, it's ridiculous. Great to see you again. She's going to be really fucking pissed. She has wine. Как тебе понравится, если я приложу такой обмен? Let's do that. Прекрасно. Uh, put me back in the happiness, just temporarily. Um, when, that's going to end though, when I crush her. It really sucks because she didn't want to be my friend for a while, and now she is, but ideology will help you get your happiness back eventually. Yeah, we need more culture. We're very close actually to um, next policy in two turns, which is good news. Uh, open tech tree. Uh, we've got to go back to frickin' acoustics. Stupid bloody acoustics. Still, we got the thing we needed to, so... Move stacked unit. Okay. We should probably start, like, casually sending some units out this way. Nulzius, uh, rather than saying what do you want, you could try giving him what you're prepared to give him. That doesn't work. AI only accepts what they want. Like, if you just say like I'll give you six gold and like some horses, he'll be like fuck off. Um, no, <laughs> literally. <laughs> right, happiness here, happiness here, happiness here. Give me happy. No, you need to build a zoo. Nulz adopted a religion. That no, hasn't it. It's bloody lost a religion. Losing, I'm losing religion left, right, and centre over here. Everyone's like giving up on religion. This has got to stop. Damn, we're so close to a great general on the uh, faith, though. I don't maybe want to quit that. Alright, we've got our artillery. Let's send that up there. And we're setting sail. Setting sail for a potentially very bad move. Oh, finally. Enough culture for a new social policy. Ugh, it's all bloody. Each city you found with blah blah blah. 
We need some happiness stuff. Plus science from every trading post and plus 17 from the universities, plus gold from science buildings. We'll do this. Where are we going to? Oh, it's for ideology. Yeah. It's tree flame, but we just got to get to the ideology phase first, and that's the annoying thing. Right, I'm going to have Flames Fury build me a Gatling gun. Uh, Flame says build three factories, you have coal near my city. Oh, okay, Flame. Oh yeah, it's true actually. I just find it weird how some units, when they've been told to move and they just kind of don't move, I find that really odd. Now then, my plan into action. We're not quite at the plan stage yet, so we can just keep it quiet for now. Gold does insects. Uh, I'll do that deal, because it's just an extra resource I don't need to worry about. Their rising on the horns was as the sound of thunder, heard remote. Right, finished acoustics, then we're on to architecture. Taj Mahal, give us a big boost. Uh, we're only 11 turns away from the Circus Maximus. We kind of need to wait for the Circus Maximus before we do anything. Let's build some walls here. I've got a worker right here, I'm gonna automate you. A button. No, I don't need to open borders with you. All the time that we wait, Russia is uh, strengthening itself, which is obviously bad news. So we need to make a move on them as quick as possible, but it's just a question of time, unfortunately. It's not much I can do about this. What are you lot doing here? and build something. Ugh, I feel like I've got too many workers. Right, we've got another artillery. That's bringing up our fleet. We've definitely got enough artillery, the just question is have we got enough ground units? But I think with like three or four infantry and we just rush the city and just absolutely spam it, we might be okay. We're just about to get a zoo from Nabamba, which will bring us back with the happiness. We've got a couple of cities working on zoos at the moment, and we've also got the Circus Maximus. So if we get all these in, it's going to hopefully bring us back up. My disagreements with Pedro become too much to bear. This is the situation on the battlefield. Sorry, we have no interest in this. That is a shame. But it's good news for me if she's getting ready for war with Brazil. Brazil. Right, Caravel, you can heal up. Come on, give me zoos and happiness and circus. Cotton to Kaj Mahada. It seems like maybe I'm... I just got happiness back. I wonder whether I'm giving away too many resources? Because I've been trading resources away a lot. Maybe I just need to keep my luxuries, you know? Maybe we'd, we've just been trading up too many luxuries. Because we don't need... Um, we don't really need all of that income and stuff, you know? Uh, Iron Beak uh, Factory... So I think what we'll do is we'll just, we'll just say no, because we don't really need more money. We're absolutely spanking the money in. We've got so much money. Architecture begins where engineering ends. So we'll try and build that straight after. 
new research, so we can go for scientific theory or archaeology. Archaeology world gets to biology and hydro plants, stock exchange. We have steam power, which gets us through this. So we're going to go scientific theory. You have so much money, you could have bought all those zoos. Yeah, but we had to wait, Flame, to, to do everything else anyway, so... There was not a great deal of um, point in doing that. But we could probably buy um, Nils Zoo or something like this. Moscow's got some artillery there. Monaco is in awe of us. <laughs> Pedra has completed Uflisi. I'm going to be super pissed off if bloody Catherine does me over again with some wonder, because I've just been trying so hard all the way through this bloody game with the wonders, and they always get crushed. We got our zoo, but it didn't help us out much. Alright, come on, come on. I just want to wait and see whether we get this Circus Maximus or not. See if we can have a little look at what's going on here. It's going to be quite tricky to approach this without her realising what's happening. She has got three major cities, so... I feel like resistance is going to be quite strong and she will have artillery as well which is really bad news for me so I've really got to try and take the city as quick as possible and throw as much as possible at it Cosmic says I wonder whether it would be better to wait for Russia to become weak from this war to advance they're not going to, they're not going to become weak from a war with uh, Brazil because Brazil has got nothing um, bank there. Come on Lutania, you can do it this time. You can get us a wonder this time, please. Unit promotion. Who's promoted? Who is? Ah, rifleman, great. I'm trying to make my rifleman kind of defensive. Iroquois privateers, there's quite a lot of them out here. Zav Bay has finished with this. Как тебе понравится, если я предложу такой обмен? We'll keep the open borders for now because we're just about to lose it. But crushing her capital city is one thing that I need to do and it will demoralize her greatly. Lutin, why not go for Rome? Because Rome is not a massive threat to me. Um, I can take Rome pretty easy because it's a coastal city, which means that I can get some warships and I can bombard it later in the game and just take that very, very easily. But Moscow and uh, also Washington are my biggest issues because they're inland and it means I can't really bombard them as effectively from offshore. Because usually what you can do is just get some battleships, roll up, bombard the Christ out of the city and then just roll in and take it. But I can't do that with Moscow because it's too far inland. So that's why I'm preparing this kind of ground attack and I decided it would be quicker to do it, it would be easier to do it now. Wait, did we actually get that? Oh, we did, we did. Oh, thank God. We actually got the Circus Maximus, that's really good news. Trying to get more culture and stuff. Right, uh, I think we're almost ready to go then, really. Um, how much have we got? We've got three rifle units and three artillery. I feel like I need four ground infantry units though. 